Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Premium Aquatics. Luke here with the tank as usual. And today we are gonna look at another piece of filtering equipment. That's right, filters, ah, uh, how we love them. All of you are fanatics about the prized possession in your, in your sump. What is it? The protein skimmer. All right, guys, so I hope you've had a great week. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. Relaxing, we got more snow. I'm so over it. I love snow, but I want to be done. I want spring. Anyways, well, let's get on to it. Today, I'm gonna change out the protein skimmer. I have the classic reef octopus in the sump right now. It has been working phenomenal for me. I love it. I have not had any issues with it thus far. I get very thick, nice, creamy skim it, skim mate, but it's time to change it out and we're going to test out a new product. So what product is that going to be? Da -da -da -da. Bam! Bam! Can you see that? Where's the symbol? Bam! The eShops S120 Premier fourth generation. This skimmer is looking very nice. I'm excited to get this guy on it. So without further ado, let's go ahead, open this bad boy up, and let's check it out. I'm excited to check. They've, they've got a few uh, little upgrades on this skimmer compared to some of them out there. So uh, I'm excited to open this up. Let's check it out. Come on, guys. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open and check it out. Inside, we have our uh, quick start guide. Then we have the body of the skimmer. Take this bad boy out. Our collection cup. And then, of course, our pump. Easy as that. For this pump, we are using the Sechi SE 200. Really nice, sleek looking, white design. We have a bubble plate in here. We have our clear Venturi, little nozzle. Let's get this guy assembled. So some really nice benefits to this particular skimmer that I am really excited for is one, a very large collection cup uh, for how small this skimmer is. As you can see, we actually have a really decent sized cup on it. Uh, it does have a drain port, which is always nice in case you do wanna use a waste collector of some sort. Beautiful construction, nice, clear, transparent blue. I love that. The body is one thing I'm actually really excited for. Uh, I don't know if you can tell here, but to get this open, to add our pump, ta -da, all I have to do is twist and lock this into place or unlock it, and I have access to the pump. Um, that's phenomenal. Um, I, I know, you know, thumb screws and all that jazz are the way of a lot of aquarium equipment, but it is so nice to be able to just go down here, pop this up, and have access to the pump. So. I love that idea. I think that's phenomenal. Inside then we have these set screws that will allow us quick access to our pump. We'll just unscrew these a little bit to loosen it up, put our pump in, scoot it in, tighten it back down. I've seen a few with these. It's nice because you're not having to undo these screws 100% to get the pump off. You're just doing enough to loosen up this bracket and slide it out so you can take off the pump. So that's really nice as well. On the bottom are some rubber feet help with noise vibrations. And then we come to the bubble plate. This is a little bit of a unique design. Uh, obviously our water and air is gonna go up into here. And then it has these fins that are curved and it helps to give a little bit more contact time in the body of the skimmer to help maximize that contact time and just make it as efficient as possible. So that's nice to see. We'll see how well that does for us and see what kind of production we get. Uh, difference between our uh, octopus back there, which is needing cleaned out. So that's really cool. Uh, and then last but not least, we have the Venturi. And the cool thing about this is absolutely everything on here is clear. Obviously you have the blue, but it's so transparent. This is gonna make it so you can see exactly what is going on with your Venturi. If there is salt creep that is getting stuck in it, if there's algae in there, if there's sand particles, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna be able to take a look from outside of my tank and outside of my sump and say, well, crap, that looks like that's getting clogged up. 
we need to pull this guy off and get it cleaned out. So no more guesswork. I can see what exactly is going on with my Venturi, calcium buildup, whatever, and get this cleaned up very quickly. I really like that design. It just makes it that much easier to deal with. So in my books, that's a 100% A+. Plus. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this hooked up. Uh, we have our threaded piece here that we are gonna put on the pump, which allows us to screw on the bubble plate. Make that nice and snug. And then all I'm gonna do is take this base plate, I'm gonna loosen up these set screws so I can open this up, plop the pump down and get that on there. Okay, so let's just loosen these screws up just enough, as you can see, to make this bracket loose. Do that on the same side on the other, literally one half turn does it. And then we are going to go ahead and put the pump in. Once you get the uh, pump oriented correctly, then we take our pump cord. We're gonna guide it right through this little crack in the base. Then we just take our body, slide it on, line it up, obviously, so the hole will be able to put our Venturi on. And we are good to go. We will slide our Venturi in this hole and get it onto the pump. Connect that up to our air silencer. Bam, we're ready to go. Here's another piece of tubing if you'd like to uh, utilize the waste collector on the collection cup. And then once we're ready to go, uh, we're just gonna utilize this turn knob and that's gonna open up this bottom door to allow water to come and exit the pump. And that's going to adjust our water inside the body. So all I'm gonna do is just thread this and then it's a little hard to tell, but as I thread this, the screw goes down and in turn lifts this white gate behind this blue piece here. Bam, we are ready to get it rocking. Again, this is the S120, fourth generation. Uh, this bad boy is rated 40 to 120 gallons. It's gonna be perfect for this system. Super tiny footprint, only five and a half by seven. Uh, so super small, this is gonna fit in a lot of places and it's only 18 inches tall, so really nice. You only need a little bit of room to get this collection cup off. And you're golden. Let's get the octopus out of there, get that guy cleaned up, and let's get this in there. Let's show you rocking with the bubbles. Here it is in action and all its beauty. I did have to end up closing the door. I apologize if the sound isn't as good. This is recorded on my phone just so I can get in here a little bit closer for you guys. Uh, this has been in here for literally just, uh, what, 15 seconds. So um, I put it in, turned it on, and I adjusted my dial so I could uh, get the water level a little bit higher. So we'll see how this produces on the head foam and uh, we'll go from there. But that is really turning out some nice bubbles. Uh, we'll need to play around with the water height uh, as well because it is pretty low on the skimmer. We'll see if that makes a difference as well. So we'll see what this does and uh, excited to test this out and see what type of skim made we get. But you can see just how small this is. Uh, but this skimmer cup is still huge for such a small body. That'll be really nice. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. We appreciate you. Have a great and wonderful weekend. We will catch you in just a few short weeks. Go check out eShops. I'll put a link in the description below as always. We love them. They're phenomenal. Uh, excited to get this on here and try it out. So have a good week, guys. We'll catch you next time. Peace.